Hi everyone, welcome to Zynod's demo of the Telangana Management Quota NEED PG 2025 application form. Uh, Telangana Management Quota is for 50% of seats of Telangana private institutes. Uh, these seats are available under Management Quota. Uh, Telangana private institute seats are split into CAT A, CAT B, CAT C. CAT A is under all Indi uh, in, the, in the Telangana Government Quota or Competent Authority Quota, 7.5 lakhs per annum seats. CAT B and CAT C. Uh, seats are available under the Telangana Management Quota. CAT B seats are open for all. So if you're interested in those seats, you can apply. The application form starts from 4th of October and ends on 11th of October at 6 p.m. So please ensure that you apply at least a day before if you're interested. Seats and eligibility in the Telangana Management Quota. This is total of 50% seats split into CAT B. CAT B is also called as MQ1. Everybody across India is eligible for these seats. CAT C seats are split into two, one NRI seats and institutional quota seats. So within CATC, you have MQ2, NRI seats and MQ3, institutional quota seats. NRI OCA or NRI sponsored candidates, even if you are NRI sponsored, you will be eligible for CATC seats, you will uh, MQ2 seats and MQ3 is institutional quota. Uh, this, these are seats that are sponsored by the institution. 10% of seats are available under MQ3. MBBS from the concerned institution. You have done your MBBS from the institution. You are an employee of the institution or your parents are employee of the institution. Basically, you should be son or daughter of an employee of the institution then they can sponsor you for CAT uh, MQ3. You need to get a sponsorship certificate. Registration fee is 15,000. They have increased it quite a bit compared to last year. And in case you are from another state, uh, you, you are an MBBS from another state or MBBS from abroad, you might have to uh, pay another equivalency fee of 8,000 or 10,000 in addition to the 15,000 that you are already paying. Application page. Uh, we start with the application page. This is the link to the application page for Telangana. The link will be available in the description. On the online application page over here, you will get all the details. But the notifications will be there in the KNRUHS website only. So you will have to go to the KNRUHS website for all the notifications as mentioned over here. But the application will be over here and all the rest of the processes will be over here. Mobile and email registration is what you start with. You just register your mobile. There will be a five, a four, five step process. One, mobile and email registration then candidates details will be uh, entered then the data will be updated and the certificates will be uploaded finally you will have an application print first step is the mobile and email verification uh, you, you once you click on the mobile and email verification link over here it will take you to this particular form uh, where you will enter the three basic details this is kind of a security check basically your roll number rank and the date of birth also needs to be entered once you enter that you can enter any mobile number or email id and then proceed it need not necessarily be the same as the nb1 so first you enter all these three details system will allow you only if these three details are right it will verify and validate and then after that you can generate your otp by entering the mobile number twice generate your otp and then you will get your otp on uh, your mobile enter it over here don't do anything else don't click anything else submit now again confirm your email mention your email and confirm your email generate otp you will get an e otp so enter over here all these details need to be entered and only then you will click on validate so you get an email otp mobile otp then you enter the captcha then you click on validate it will say mobile and email registered successfully there is no specific in uh, text or uh, email that you will receive it this uh, snapshot uh, this particular pop-up will tell you that it has been registered successfully then you move on to candidate registration part this is the second link over here or you can if you click on OK over here, it will automatically take you to this page which is candidate registration. At any point in time, you can go back and log in with your uh, details uh, and then proceed. Uh, under, under the candidate registration, you again start with your NEET roll number, two five, the one which starts with 2511 digits, NEET rank, date of birth, mobile number and also the CAS category needs to be selected. This is not relevant as far as the, uh, unlike uh, uh, the uh, Telangana government quota, this is not relevant for the Telangana management quota as far as the fee is concerned or as far as the reservation of seats are concerned. It is not relevant. There is no reservation in Telangana management quota. There is no difference in fee because you belong to a particular category. Now, so why is it mentioned over here? If somebody is between 235 and 276 marks, that is between 40 and 50 percentile and is applying for Telangana management quota and belongs to ST, ST, BC or OBC, then they might be eligible. OBC is also over here, which means you are an OBC candidate outside India. Then that is also considered over here and you will be eligible for those seats. All the seats in Telangana, whichever you are eligible for, that will be eligible for. Then there is nothing like open category within Telangana. You will be eligible for MQ1, definitely. So that is why this category is given over here. You might not be able to change the category later. We tried it but couldn't. If you are able to, then good. But always check the category, right category over here. Now next, 
uh, you enter the cast category and enter the uh, captcha and then click on validate it will take you to the payments page this is pretty simple you enter your email enter your address and zip code enter your and then click on proceed uh, your mobile number will appear automatically and go for these options here card net banking wallet options are available usually it will be either card or net banking upi is not available if you go for a card enter the details if you are going for net banking these will pop up it is not that only these are existing uh, these banks can be uh, you can pay only these th through these banks you can click on select another bank and all the banks will be listed out go ahead and make the payment this wallet and then once the payment is done you will have a message saying successfully proceed, proceeded payment and the transaction reference number will also be there please save the transaction reference number for future reference now we get into the next part data updation how do i go here again click on that link that we mentioned and you click on data updation here it will take you to data updation page enter your need pg role number and the registration number this is the registration number that you got earlier that registration number you will have to mention over here and then go ahead and proceed this registration number uh, will be kind of your password enter the captcha jly uh, p2p is mentioned over here just enter whatever captcha you get and click on validate uh, enter your roll number this is the complete information of personal details that you need to enter uh, this is just shown for reference uh, and these are the qualification details that you need to enter mbbs and then you need to upload two images photograph and signature initially you will upload only the photograph and signature file later you will upload all the certificates in pdf format during the certificates upload process right now it is the data updation process now uh, fill the candidate details when you are filling the candidate details the need role number rank score candidate name father name gender mobile number email address all will be auto populated state etc will be auto populated where from the nbe exam details everything will be uploaded auto populated you, you can mention the district and then you can go on to mention the caste certificate number if you select a caste category there is a uh, uh, you can first we'll start with uh, each field one by one which we need to enter pwd yes or no you can select it does not matter what you had given earlier if you are eligible for pwd uh, then go ahead and select yes even if you had missed it out earlier or unfortunately if there has been a if you are currently eligible for PWD uh, uh, because of some reasons, uh, unfortunate reasons, then you can select it over here. Does not matter what you mentioned in the NBA exam prospectus, NBA exam application. Enter your Aadhaar number, enter the district PIN code and uh, SSC hall ticket number, secondary school certificate and hall ticket number. Enter your caste category over here, uh, gender over here and then move on to the caste category. This cannot be changed last year uh, too it was not possible this year too it might have might be throwing an issue if it is not showing throwing an issue you can go ahead and change but like we said at right from the first uh, uh, registration itself you mentioned the right caste category local area will be mentioned as none over here uh, that will not change there is no local seat there are no local seats or specific reservation for locals like in andhra pradesh so don't need to worry about that part select muslim minority yes or no there are three medical college deccan shadan and uh, uh, shadan and uh, uh, vr came a women's medical college which are muslim minority medical colleges if you are interested in those select yes uh, we have been checking with telangana even last year other state candidates who have a muslim minority certificate have uploaded those certificates we would suggest you to go ahead and upload your state muslim minority certificate uh, you would be eligible for those seats it's what we assume based on what happened last year uh, mobile number alternate mobile number can be given uh, next we come to ssc secondary school leaving certificate 10th of uh, year of passing ssc and month and year of passing ssc you mentioned the date you passed ssc usually is the last date when you write the examination or the date you get the certificate anything is fine uh, next we go into the mbbs uh, details this you start with the college colleges all the telangana colleges will be mentioned and other state and other country will be mentioned in garden kota you won't have this other state other country here you will have other state and other country if you uh, select uh, depending upon the college you select you will get an equivalency fee if you select other state you will have to pay 8000 already 15000 you need to pay another 8000 23000 if you select other country then you will have to pay 10000 which means total of 25000 you will pay and uh, uh, mbbs from year to year two year is the rate of completion of mbbs not the internship whenever you completed your mbbs hall ticket number should be in your mark sheet or in your hall ticket that you have for mbbs or even if not whatever is mentioned in your degree certificate you can give internship completion yes yeah, mention yes obviously it is by default you can't change that internship completion date should be before 31 7 2025 the medical council registration select permanent or temporary there are a lot of queries from candidates saying the medical council registration clearly is mentioned as telangana state medical council registration last year too in the government quota this question confusion came up uh, we would suggest you to apply 
with any state medical council registration they will give you time usually after the counseling and all admissions are over to change the medical council registration to telangana this is how it has been happening for years uh, last year in the prospectus it was mentioned as state medical council registration this year they have changed it to telangana state medical council registration so there we have a concern obviously you can connect with telangana we are also trying to connect but uh, we would ask, ask you to go ahead in case you don't have a confirmation saying you are ineligible. Any state medical council registration should be allowed is what we believe because it happened last year too because it happens in uh, government quota too. Uh, a permanent or permanent registration is what is mentioned in the pro prospectus but you can go ahead with the temporary as well like we mentioned all the states uh, the options other state option is also available. MCA registration dates this is your medical council registration date enter the dates and then we move on to the NRI quota claim. Now, NRI quota uh, is one which is MQ2. You should be of who is eligible for NRI quota. Uh, NRI quota is only for uh, candidates who are real uh, 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 father, mother, uh, real brother, sister, uncle, aunt can, uh, uh, can basically uh, uh, sponsor for NRI quota. We are not sure if first degree cousins or grandfather, grandmother can sponsor. It is not mentioned, but it is as per rule. Usually they do. We will have to check on that. You will have to check on that if that is the criteria. Claiming the institutional quota. Institutional quota is said is sponsored by institution itself. You should have done your MBBS in the institute. You should be. You should have been employed in the institute or you should have been, uh, your parents should have been employed in the institute. That is the criteria. They should also sponsor. They should give a letter saying that they are sponsoring. Not necessarily this. You can't go claim without them sponsoring. You have to check with your institute on this. Uh, that be a Telangana institute obviously and you get seats only in those institutes claiming institutional quota yes or no and then you go on to photo upload you can upload the photos over here and signature over here uh, uh, and uh, uh, don't upload something which is less than 100 k uh, which is more than 100 kb uh, upload it in jpeg format if you have special characters like underscore etc in the photo remove them before you upload uh, finally uh, save the candidate details save and exit is one option then we move on to the certificates upload. So always save and exit. Once you save and exit, you come back, you will have that information available. Now we move on to certificates upload. This is the fourth link over here. Uh, enter roll number and registration number. Enter all the, uh, enter all the uh, upload all the details that have been, uh, sorry, certificates that have been asked. Uh, this is the, these are the list of mandatory certificates mentioned over here. It is clearly mentioned. And these are based on the 567 or based on whether you are eligible for a particular uh, criteria like NRI or you are eligible for MQ3 or you are eligible for caste based reservation. Let us say you belong to uh, Telangana, you are 60 percentile, it does not matter. The social status certificate does not matter. Even if you don't have, you are applying only for management quota, no reservation exists. Only for 40 to 50 percentile candidates, this is an advantage. And uh, no fee difference or anything exists. Copy of provisional MBBS degree certificate, copy of MBBS study certificate, CRRI certificate and permanent medical registration is mentioned. If you don't have a permanent medical registration, please call up Telangana. They will tell you to apply upload any registration once get a confirmation because only if you get a confirmation you can always go back and say that you mentioned this uh, photographs you can upload of these only the nri sponsorship letter is 1 mb because you will put up all the letters the sponsorship letter status certificate nri bank account passport etc all these copies one after the other one page after the other you, or two pages or plus one page etc all these you will put together as a single pdf and upload so that is a little higher size no uh, uh, note that uh, if you have, don't have any of these formats, you can always call us as a sign -in subscriber. We will be able to help you out with the formats. Now, certificate upload. Once you click on this particular link, you will be able to upload the certificates. Upload only PDF files. Uh, your file should be less than this uh, particular uh, uh, size. Once you upload, complete your entire upload. You can click on save and exit and then click on print application. That is the end of the entire uh, uh, entire. Uh, uh, application submission for Tamil Telangana management quota but please keep checking on a regular basis on whether there is any uh, input which is there in your application like update this certificate again or also keep checking mails so that you don't miss out on any mail where there is a verification or an upload or a re-upload of documents required something that you have missed out. Telangana will put up a merit list later and then possibly give you one or two days for grievances but that will not be enough. If you have made some changes uh, if you are supposed to make some changes check on a daily basis uh, there might be some issues. Uh, before completing your application please ensure that every detail is right over here otherwise you can always go to data updation and update this details but once you make the final uh, submit you will not be able to do that so always confirm that before you go ahead all the best for telangana management quota